The category benchmark and search term impression share report are two reports that are fairly new to Amazon sellers, but we see that they are often underutilized. In this video, we're gonna dive into both of those two new reports, and I'm gonna show you how to utilize them to see where you rank compared to your competition and how to use them to find hidden golden opportunities. So stay tuned. If you're new here, my name is Mike Zagari. I am the creator of PPC Entourage. We are a software to help you scale your Amazon advertising. Plus we provide results driven management. If you are not subscribed to our channel, make sure you do so because every single week we take all the knowledge we've gained from managing millions of dollars in ad spend and pour it into these videos to help you grow your business. So subscribe today, click on the notification bell and let's get started. All right, so let's dig into the category benchmark report to see how our brand is doing compared to other brands in the category. So when you take a look at this, you can see that I have blocked off the brand's name to protect their name, but the category that they're in is grocery and gourmet food. And here is the subcategory, grocery and gourmet food, pantry supplies. So take a look at the amount of impressions that our brand is getting across these two different categories. We can get a feel for that. It's, it's pretty evenly split across these categories here. But take a look at this. The peer impressions bottom 25%, even in the bottom 25 percentile, there's way more impressions for the other brands in this category. So this is essentially saying that we are getting very little impressions compared to other brands within the category. And the median is a little bit higher. And then take a look at this, the top 25%. Now that's nearly four times as much impressions that the top 25% of brands in this category are getting compared to our brand. So what I did is I gave ourselves a, a little bit of a score here, um, impression share well below average, okay? So we're gonna use this category benchmark report to give our brand a score compared to other brands in our category. And in this, I'm giving us well below average. All right, let's go over to click-through rate percentage. Now with click-through rate percentage, you can see that our brand is doing 0.68, which is decent for sponsored brand ads. The bottom 25 percentile is 0.41. The median is 0.49 and the top is 0.86. So we're sort of somewhere in the middle. We're a little bit above average with click-through rate percentage. And I think as we get further into the search term impression share report, it's gonna tell the story as to why. And I'll give you a little hint. We're going after a lot of branded keywords and a lot of branded search terms. So people are familiar with that brand and they're more likely to click on that brand. So we're gonna give ourselves a above average, but I think that our click-through rate percentage is slightly skewed because we're going after mainly branded terms. So the first step that I think would be a really helpful exercise is to go in, download the category benchmark report and just give yourself a grade based on how you're doing compared to your competition. This is where we're gonna start. And with this information now, we're gonna dig into the search term impression share report to see where we can start to make some improvements. All right, so here we are inside of the search term impression share report. Now it's a pretty easy report to understand. I'm gonna point out a couple of things. First off, just to protect the brand, anytime the brand name was mentioned inside of the customer search term, I just named the customer search term brand name. So just know that these are the search terms that actually have the brand name in it. Then you can also see the search term impression rank. So this tells us where we rank with regards to our headline search ads, sponsored brand ads for this given search term, which is really incredible information. And we could start to see the percentage of impression share that we get as well. So for this example here, the brand name search term, we're ranking number one and we're getting 61.7% of the impression share. Someone else is getting a percentage of that impression share. Next, it's gonna show you the targeting, um, whether that be a keyword or an ASIN and also the match type. And anytime it says targeting expression, that means that we're targeting an ASIN. And this is really important because we wanna take a look at the actual match type and start to get a look at the relevance of the customer search terms that are showing up for the match type or for the ASIN. And this is gonna play a big role into how we are doing our targeting. So further along in the report, you can see that it also shows you some really amazing information, the amount of clicks, the amount of impressions, the click-through rate, the spend, cost per click, the 14-day uh, total orders, 14-day total sales, the total ROAS, and the ACOS, as well as the conversion rate. So all of the good information that you need to start to make good decisions about this data that 
that they're showing. So the first thing that I'm looking at when I go inside of this search term impression share report is how many of the search terms are brand related search terms. And you can see that a bunch of brand related search terms are showing up over here. Anytime that it says brand name, it's a brand related search term. So this means that a shopper either knows about our brand or is coming back to purchase our product again. They're seeing our sponsored brand ad at the very top and they're taking action. So this is good, but we want to make sure that it's only a small percentage or a percentage of the total search terms that we're going after. And I took a look at the numbers. It turns out that inside of this account, 24% of all of the search terms that we are ranking for inside of the search term impression share report are brand targeted search terms. Now, I think that is very high. If you couple that with the low amount of impressions, that could start to tell the story as to why we have such low impressions, but also why we have a higher CTR percentage and a higher ACoS because they are brand related search terms. So the second thing that we're looking for is the match type. And you could see here that we have targeting expression, which means we're targeting an ASIN. And then we have broad match, phrase match, and exact match. Now going down here, we have very limited amount of phrase match and almost no exact match or any exact match. And you can see that we're targeting a lot of broad match, which, you know, that can be good if you're going for a uh, wide exposure, lots of impressions that can work out really well. But oftentimes, you know, sometimes the relevancy is, is not so great and that takes a hit and you're targeting different search terms that are not relevant to your product. And here's an example of that. Uh, in this example here, we're targeting protein cookie butter. And what's showing up is one of our competitors because obviously our competitor is targeting the same exact search term and we are just kind of piggybacking off of that and targeting our competition. Now that is probably not the best use of our ad spend. We may want to limit a certain amount of ad spend towards that and break that out. But certainly as a broad match, that ad spend could add up very fast. And you'll see similar things with targeting expressions. If you're targeting certain ASINs, for example, this one right here, the same thing. We're targeting this ASIN and we're getting the competitor to show up in our search term report. This means somebody is actually typing in our competitor's name and our ad is showing. And these ads could be very, very, very costly. So going into the actual search term report, we broke down all of the different keywords. And you can see here that 24% of the keywords that we were targeting are brand targeted keywords. So that really gives us an idea as to like why these numbers are the way they are. But then take a look at this. 55% of the keywords inside of the report are broad match. 20% are targeting ASINs and that shows up as targeting expression. And 24% are phrase match and we have no exact match. So there are literally no exact match campaigns. So this means that there's lots of opportunity to improve our rank for specific search terms. And all we have to do is identify what those search terms are, start making individual sponsored brand ad campaigns for those search terms as exact match type. And then we start to build out from there and start to improve our rank. So next we want to identify the search terms that have a high probability of improving your overall sales and find out where you're ranking for those different search terms and see where your sales are at for those different search terms. Now that was a bit of a mouthful, but let me dive into it. What I did here was all I did was I sorted by the number of orders. This gives us an idea as to which search terms inside of this report are generating the most amount of sales. And when I do that, I can see over here that this is showing up as a brand name search term. So here we have clear evidence that the brand name search terms are working really well. However, it's not really going to help our bottom line, you know, because people are probably going to buy from us anyway. It's great to protect our brand, but we're looking for opportunities to get higher rank and to get more visibility for our product. And here's an example of where you could start to find some opportunity. So as we go down the list, I can see over here that I'm ranked pretty well for all of these different search terms, likely because like, as I said, we're going after branded search terms, but take a look at this. We have the chocolate peanut butter, which to me seems like that probably has a lot of search volume and we are ranked number three. And we're we're getting 27% of the impression share. So I highlighted this in yellow. This is what we're targeting, peanut butter, dark chocolate. And as we go over here, we can see that we have a decent ROAS and a really decent conversion rate. So this would be a great example of looking to improve our search term impression share to try to get more impression share. How could we do this? We could isolate the individual keyword and make its own campaign. We could target it as exact match. We could even put peanut butter dark chocolate in the actual headline itself to attract more shoppers and to make it stand out from our competition. So we start to rank a little bit higher. So the fourth thing you wanna look at is to find any bit of wasted ads 
spend. And of course, you always want to be optimizing specifically with sponsored brand ads and specifically with broad match, because as I showed you before, we can get a lot of search terms that may not be relevant to the product that we're actually selling. So if you go over here and you sort by total advertising cost of sales, you can see that a bunch of them are showing up very high, 200%, 176, and we go down from there. And I'm sure this brand has a specific threshold they want to follow with regards to their ACOS. And let's say that's around 50%. And we can see that all of these are above that threshold and we have a lot of wasted ad spend or we can do some bid optimization on those. And then as we go further down, you could also see that there's a couple of keywords that have clicks but no sales. So of course we consider those keyword bleeders and we always want to look to optimize that so we can be more efficient with our ad spend. So tying all of this together, we can see that with this account, the brand targeting is the highest percentage. And with a brand that has this much name recognition, that does make sense to make sure that you are protecting that brand and other people aren't getting in on, on your brand sales. However, I think that they are drastically underutilizing the power of sponsored brand ads based on the amount of impressions that they're getting compared to their competitors in the same niche. And also based on the fact that they really aren't ranking for that many search terms when you go inside of the search term report. It's only 254 search terms. So there really is a lot of room to grow for this brand. Now, I would recommend that this brand go into their sponsored product search term report. They find all of the search terms with three or more orders. Also make sure that they go into the brand analytics to see which search terms have the most amount of volume and then start making an army of sponsored brand ads to try to get ranked for way more search terms, which is going to help get them more impression share, more reach, more visibility, and hopefully help them rank for some of the search terms that have a lot of search volume. Now, this is interesting because you can use this report to tie other reports together and sort of put all the pieces together. And what I recommend doing is once again, go into the search term report, go into brand analytics, all of that, and then use that information, combine it with this report to see how you compare to brands in the same category. So how are you ranking in your category? Did you find any shockers inside of this report? let us know in the comment section below. Also, the video above is a video from last week about automatic campaigns and how to use the data to make brand new campaigns. And the video below is a video that YouTube thinks you will like. And if you have any questions on how we can help you improve your Amazon advertising performance, click on the link below and we'd be happy to set up a call. Have an amazing week and I'll see you all next time.